So I know I, I wasn't up here for a, a while now, but this is, this is my final talk, and now I will get to tell you what I really think of you. Um, Reba Sushi, starting with you. Listen, man, it, you know, wait, this is actually not the right talk. I'm going to do this instead, because I, I <laughs> always, okay. So I wanted to do this talk and, and talk about the stuff that I don't like people doing, and it's called um, Do This and Die. Uh, or, or things that piss me off. And I'm going to use Spider-Man, uh, 60 Spider-Man uh, pictures with really funny text to explain it because really that does explain how I feel about things. Um, first of all, some words of caution. Um, there are more than, there's more than one way to do it. Maybe my solution is not the solution that, that works for you, even though it should be. Maybe the way they do things are not the right way for you, and they should be. Um, your mileage may vary, no batteries included, don't drink and drive. And of course, if you do have a problem with anything that I have to say and you would like to come tell me afterwards, I don't give a shit, okay? So don't. Um, so a few small problems, we'll start with those. Uh, people use unless, please don't use unless. We look for if, we don't look for unless. Also, don't use post if because I don't think, oh, I will do this if, damn it. Okay, so some stuff that I find really absolutely fucking stupid. People who name their variables A, B, I, J, K, L, M, N, um, A and B are actually reserved. Don't do this. Whenever you do this, I kind of feel like I want to rewrite this to this. So uh, people who use, um, <laughs> I, now, I, I, I have some more. Uh, people use trailing spaces. Stop it! Um, it's really annoying. Um, var, array, hashes. You shouldn't name these these because the hash is already hash. Um, now, tabs versus spaces. I know this is delicate. It's an internal struggle that we all have. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it very, very, very easy for all of us. Do not mix tabs and spaces. Now, this might be confusing, so let me let me uh, repeat myself. Do not mix tabs. Say, do not mix tabs. Do not mix tabs and spaces. No tabs at all. Only spaces, which, which should work. And every every editor nowadays uh, is able to define that when you hit tab, it actually actually puts spaces in there. Now, once Emacs will have an editor, you can have that feature too. Okay, some things that, that happen simply because we misunderstand how things work and how to connect them together. Um, people use map without checking the value. You see, map is actually something that, that transforms, so you, you want to use the map. Um, this is an example of map with an expression and a list. You have an expression there, uh, the plus is just to make sure that it's an expression, and then you have uh, some list. Uh, you can use map with a block, and then you could do this kind of thing, which is this version of transform that just takes a, uh, um, s uh, some list, and then it breaks it off to an array ref of two things, and then it sorts it, and then it sends off the first one. Um, people use C style for loops. Um, it, it, for loop is actually, you know, it, it, it's, it's good when you have an, um, this, but when you actually need an iterator, god damn it, is there a way to um, resize the font? What is it? I obviously I didn't ask ah, how, so he didn't tell me. Thank you. Uh, no, it's no. Ah, <laughs> oh, there we go. So um, instead of doing for my i iterator blah 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 for each does this, so we just do for me for each my kid, and that's that's it. It's very simple. Um, is there another slide for this? Um, and of course you can do just say for. Can I do this? Good. Okay. So switches. Um, if one, else if two, else if three, you can just use a dispatch table. Use a dispatch table, it's great, it's really nice, use that instead. Um, and there is a dispatch table link, you've all seen it, that's it, it's good enough. Um, empty if clauses, like what the fuck is this? Like why are you putting an, an empty if, the, don't, don't fucking do this. Um, return variables, people have a variable return, then do a bunch of stuff, set the variable every single time, at the end return it, and then they always have return, return. Uh, come on, what, what the, uh, come on. Um, uh, Batman here is at a, at a, he helps out at this point. Um, <laughs> class methods, I love this. People will use a method on a class. It's not an object and it's not a function, it's both. So basically what you have is you, you have these two things and you don't really know what to do with them so you just put them together. <laughs> okay, people use uh, try and catch for workflow. No! You're getting shit for Christmas. Stop doing it. it come on. 
Go to, okay, um, go to, I'm sorry, it is not for workflow. There is, you know, if you're using C, sure, because you can't get out, but you, you can actually do next on a label. You can do last on a label. You don't have to do this shit unless you're using it for this thing, which overrides the current stack and the, uh, frame of the stack. And when you need it, it's great. If you don't know what it is, stop using it. Just don't. It's fine. Um, related conditions. Um, people who do this, I don't like it. Um, just, uh, um, people, you know, you could do this, or you can even do this. These are good. Do not do the first one. Now, the question is why. I come up here for, I think, the third time, yell about random stuff. The thing is that code is alive. Code grows. Sometimes to a ridiculous size and to a ridiculous age. And the thing is, you might not be the last person to work on this code. It might be some psychotic who goes up on stages and conferences and yells about stuff. And the next person might actually know where you live. <laughs> so please, think, <laughs> think about what you're doing. Write code that is easier to maintain, easier to read, easier to write, easier to develop. So, you know, it just, it's easier for all of us, not just me, not just psychotics like me, and not just psychotics like me who know where you live. Thank you.